So now that I know you have got your green cord, that opens the pathway for you to go and do your Australian Scout Battalion. And for a lot of people here, they will understand and recognise the significance of the Australian Scout Battalion. It's the highest award you can achieve in the Scout section. And the number of people that actually achieve that award is only around about 2.5% of the Scouts in Scout. So in any one troop, I only ever present maybe one or two medallions you know, during, the, during the year, probably. Uh, or even maybe once a year, or once every three or four years. I mean, I've got one troop that is my old troop, personal. Now 140 years old has one ASM. So I know Rose Bay's got a little bit more than that. Done pretty well, actually. Five, isn't it? Got five. Yeah. But it's a great achievement. And you should take. I feel very proud of the fact that you did that. And I know you're going to say a few words to thank the people that did help you on the way. But before we get a chance to do that, I would like to present to you with this today. So this is the ASM badge, um, so this uh, is sewn onto your scout uniform but also uh, will now transfer onto your Ventura uniform. It, uh, it goes on the, your left sleeve, that's to remove my but, but you, you'll put it onto your Ventura uniform now and wear that with pride that uh, you've achieved this, um, this wonderful milestone in your scouting career. Um, I'll have a couple of words to say after this as well, um, but uh, for, for, for now, um, we're all very proud of you, not just the Scout Troop, but the whole group, uh, for your fantastic achievement, and um, we, we look forward to more and more things from you. You've uh, done a great job, and congratulations. Thank you. This way. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing that goes with the um, ASM award is you actually get a certificate too that says you know, congratulations, you've got a, uh, the Australian Scout today, signed by Peter as the Regent Commissioner for Scouts and Corcoran. Um, look, can I just say, um, it's good to see, I think you're probably the first um, Joey, Joey challenge, uh, Promise Challenge, Grey Wolf and ASM. And we've got four honour boards up here in this hall. If your name's on three, in about three years' time, we'll obviously see another one up there when we get the Queen Scout. But it's great to see how you've developed, from my perspective, how watching you develop from a Joey to a Cub to a Scout has been really good to see. You've developed very, very well. I'm sure um, you'll, in, in a couple of years' time, we'll get that too. So, um, well done. Congratulations. Good to see you. <laughs> so, Cal, we in this room know how much work is required to achieve the Scout Medallion. And it's probably one of the reasons why there's still the fewest names on that board. And um, more than one Queen Scout has told me that. The, the Scout Medallion required more conscientious work and a lot more new skills. Queen Scout, you can sort of choose what you want to do, or what suits you, and there's a lot of paperwork and there's a lot of diversity, but for what you need to learn and need to demonstrate, the Scout Medallion uh, is a lot more challenging, is what I've heard. But we in this room understand that. What we want to do is help you explain to others everything that you've achieved and what sort of person you are. So here, uh, Peter has prepared for you uh, some letters explaining that you achieved the Green Board, the adventure level journey and what that entailed, the Australian Scout Medallion and what that entailed, and also a reference here so that you can get a job as a Chief Executive, right? 
in a large company. <laughs> that pays really well. Okay, so look after the, there are a few copies of each in there. Look after.